You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> well, guys, welcome back to Two Dumb Babies. I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Friedman. And we're here with our guests, the fucking absolutely hilarious Mr. Brian Vokey, everybody. Where's my camera? It's over there. <laughs> it's the one playing. I've always wanted to ask that. You know they do that on a late night show. Which, which camera? Yeah, which, which one? one that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I had literally nothing to say after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Camera, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know. All right, cool. I, I found found it. which Fuck, one. I really blew that one. <laughs> I'm not going to look at it or stare towards it or <laughs> direct anything at it. But Dude, outside, did you see the flyer that's taped outside on the light pole no. or whatever? It's System of a Clown. Clown is playing whiskey, whiskey a go go. <laughs> Hell yeah! It is a clown based trivia band, a system of a down. I think I, I, knew, I knew that. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm that, not. I'm not a fan, but I know exactly. <laughs> Isn't that just Slipknot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's guar. Yeah, yeah, but less members. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Less characters, though. They're all the clowns. Yeah. 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 Dad openers. That's going to be a bad place to be. Yeah. We're yeah. like, I, uh, Our, sorry, girl. <laughs> your girlfriend. You're like, I gotta, I'll got. i be out late. I'm opening for a system of a clown. <laughs> yeah. Are the openers also cover bands or are they. I Real couldn't band. tell. They weren't good enough puns to make it clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> One was called Sadness, so maybe they were a... Madness uh, cover band? A depressed, yeah, a yeah. depressed version of Madness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got pantsed. It's rancid, but they, they take their pants off. Yeah. Right, right. They, they sit in big skillets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pantsed, yeah. <laughs> See, I like, I like a good cover band like Mini Kiss. I know exactly. Yeah. What like, band. <laughs> Red Nut Chili Peppers are Always fucking gets me, dude. Those yeah, guys dude. are great. Uh, another thing I saw, I was, I, this is just things I've seen while I was driving over here. This is how I <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, I saw a billboard for master classes. And they had all the people who had master classes on them, and Simone Biles has a master class. Well, like backflips. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, gymnastics, what? I guess, right? But that there's no worse way to learn gymnastics. <laughs> over yeah, right. It just has to be yeah. to walk you through it on Zoom. It's like fucking chapter one, B four ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, yeah. This Start is... this when you're three. Yeah, have you tried gen... starting this? When also, you're have, three? You, have you tried having four million dollars worth of equipment? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, like I, I don't, I just I can't imagine what you could learn. Someone in there. Someone in their studio apartment trying to learn cartwheels. Yeah. And <laughs> like, yeah, can you imagine? Uh, my foot's in the garbage disposal again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, you get your girlfriend like a master class gift, and it's the Simone Biles one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you fucking asshole. Yeah, I mean, you love Simone Biles. Like about, like, yeah, you're going to learn a triple Lutz or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I just, it blew my mind because it was like Scorsese or Judd Apatow. I'm like, I get how you can lie and pretend you're learning something from that. Totally. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I mean? Because you yeah. see the keyboard board to pretend you're you're John Apatow or whatever. Yeah. You don't need a horse or whatever that thing's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to offset bars. And all yeah. that. I remember the floor this, with springs. The Steve Martin one. My dad was like, "You should get that one." It's like, dude, nothing. Steve Martin. Like, I'm. He's a fucking amazing, but it's a completely different era of fucking comedy. Like, what's it's so take different. That you're like, that <laughs> like, I feel the way about Steve Martin stand up the way I also feel about Lenny Bruce, where I'm like, I truly don't get it. Yeah. Like, like I under like Steve Martin to me just he doesn't really. I, I, I the, yeah. It's like an arrow fucking... through his head. I'm like, well, how's this different from Gallagher? Yeah. I don't really. I think yeah. it is the same kind of thing though. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But like, it doesn't really get me yeah it was more <laughs> yeah i think the whole thing was just to be silly and like because it was around vietnam and whatnot and people are like we just need the opposite <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. right right right, yeah, right. It's like yeah my four sons have one leg between them all <laughs> i need to laugh at fucking air guy through that look at walking around oh, he's got crazy. Crazy. <laughs> a white suit <laughs> that's insane isn't that funny and then yeah. your son slumped off from fucking yeah, yeah, heroin yeah. use <laughs> i think it's also we've been subjected to like our entire lives people who try really hard to be purposefully bad yeah. And maybe he was like, you know, he's obviously the master of that or the first one to do it. But like, there's nothing that turns me off more than somebody who's purposely bad. I know. Yeah. The Andy Kaufman yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. His imposters. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. Yeah, that could be done once. 
And even you could say it wasn't great the first time. <laughs> well, it's also like, uh, I, I feel about Andy Kaufman the way I feel about my own life, where it's like, it's better as a story, but living it is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the story of him taking Radio City Music Hall out to Milk and Cookies. Oh, yeah. That's funny, but how awful would that have been to actually be in the crowd? I know. <laughs> yeah. you're just, it's cold. You're out there in New York, yeah, like, wait for Jesus milk Christ. and cookies from some <laughs> weird guy. i them too. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I'm responsible for all these assholes yeah. now behind me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's no way they made 5,000 cookies. No, no way has a good cookie ever been made in a batch of five thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Good cookies. Yeah, exactly. Dude. These, are, these are crumbs, yeah, fucking yeah. crusty shit. <laughs> just milk. Yeah. Is this, I'm supposed to be like an adult man just drinking milk with Andy Kaufman? I mean, it just doesn't. <laughs> but like, if I told you I was there, you'd be like, "Oh, that's awesome." Yeah. But yeah. I think the reality is terrible. Like it wasn't really. No, it sucked ass. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. He like he read a book to a crowd one time. Like yeah. Great Gatsby yeah, or Great something. Gatsby. Yeah, yeah, that sounds terrible. I feel yeah. like that's what a lot of stand-up is, though. Being like, man, it must have been so cool to hang around a club, just everyone just shitting on each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then Sam Kinison there... shooting a gun, and yeah. you're like, that sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. Then you're like <laughs> hanging out at the store, you're just like doing Simpsons bits at your heroes, and you're like, what the yeah. fuck is my life? Dude? This yeah, is dumb. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, LA is a great way of destroying all the mystiques you build up because it's such a tacky city. Yeah. It's like one thing I was thinking about, because I'm moving to New York in like a month, and I, I realized that I'd rather be oppressed by old money than new money. Yeah. Um, I just respect- Brian's already turned on LA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's not even out of here yet. Yeah, He's yeah. like, this fucking bullet. You know why New York is better than yeah. LA? You know what I mean? He's got an accent. Dude. Dude. <laughs> when I you know fucking, fucking the L them. train, you know. <laughs> it's walkable. When <laughs> I moved here, I catered in an ev- open his birthday party when yeah. I was, and they literally at oh, I mean I can't imagine there's there's probably five people richer th- than her in this city mm-hmm. she's like the top of the heap of money here yeah. and there was still like that LA thing where there's changing LED lights that are on the rainbow <laughs> thing but like backlit yeah. and it's, everything is so goddamn tacky yeah. <laughs> it's just like the, all the, you could punch a hole in any of the walls <laughs> in the house it was like bad drywall you know what I mean yeah, like it's just yeah, even I mean, at the top of the top this macaroni and cheese balls <laughs> being passed on hors d'oeuvres straight. I'm like, this is a fucking billionaire's party. Yeah, I'd rather be some guy. Someone who just gets... chopped up hot pockets. And yeah, stuck yeah. fucking needles through. I'd rather some blue blood inbred Mayflower guy with a stone fucking yeah, yeah. house who like, <laughs> you know, that. I'd much rather be impressed around those kind of people. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody who knows what to do with their money. It's like yeah. they're they're like Rothschilds and shit yeah, over yeah. there. You've been owning people. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know how to do yeah. it so with some class. You've got traditions passed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I legitimately feel inferior. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. How many? How many mac? And, how, how many billionaires can you watch stuff mac and cheese balls in their mouth until you're like, I'm fucking better than you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> This one thing right. LA does to you is it like makes you really unimpressed with wealth. It demotivated me. No, totally. It demotivated me to work because I've been around so many rich people and I'm like, this isn't that much better than my life. It's a Tesla versus a Hyundai suck. Kona. Whatever. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I'm in my friend's pool, not my yeah. pool. But it's still a fucking my, pool. Yeah, my mac and cheese balls aren't in a fountain. They're in a box. Yeah. 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 It's, fine. Uh, just, it's just crap that I squeeze in my hand. Yeah. Ball. <laughs> like I don't need to snowball. I don't need to drink my Jaeger my Meister down in ice luge. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but if I do, fucking... I know somebody who makes those. Yeah, I literally yeah, I do. We I all do. do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm forgetting her name, but it's I know. Kristen Lundberg. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, Kristen Lundberg. Yeah, yeah. You can get one easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have one here in an hour. You need this. Hey, that's a New York all, thing. I'm not affecting an accent. I'm born and raised in Maine. I'm not. I'm yeah. not affecting an accent. You hear my father, you sound like it sounds like you owe him money. <laughs> he talks to you. It really does. What the fuck were you thinking? My dad today? called me today. He called me, FaceTime. I answer and I go, What's going on? How are you doing? And he goes, I was doing good till you answered. <laughs> was, you yeah. fucking asshole. You you like, what did you expect was gonna happen? <laughs> Wanted you not to answer, so yeah. I could get mad at you later. Yeah. So you just fucking fucking get on with my me. day. <laughs> I have it on my to do talk list. to this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling you. Dude. Oh, now I got a fucking. Oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> Dad? 
Hello? It's a really weird way to start yeah. a conversation. Yeah. So You're like, I'm busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I or do I'm, it's 6.45 and you woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we woke it up and be like, oh, now I got to talk to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, God damn it. <laughs> Did I, I kind of like took over when we started this thing and started talking about oh, this? Good. Good. This is why we have guests. We just did a fun. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is there We're a already sick of each other. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if I shook the format. To you. Yeah. 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 Ramsey did this last week. I think this is a great format, dude. We yeah. have a good time for 30 minutes and then our guests just, just fucking. We get a local narcissist <laughs> yeah, yeah. to come yeah. in and start we talking. In, yeah, exactly. Someone we know we can talk to and <laughs> chat with them whatnot is going to have stuff to say. Yeah. Someone sits down like, all right, this is what's going on in my life. Perfect. Interviewing or doing stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care how you get started in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But shit. <laughs> in fact, never tell me. I, I, I don't feel like I've started. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I've been spinning in neutral for 10 years. Like, well, I went to New York yeah, yeah, yeah. next month. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I, started in New I was York enslaved and... by a Rothschild. <laughs> uh, uh... I'm now their personal clown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the head surf at Caroline. Lines. Yeah, <laughs> I have to tell jokes barefoot in their tea garden. Uh, yeah. It's nice. It's, Actually, nice. it's the best paying gig I've ever had. <laughs> I can't go anywhere and spend the money, but I trust it's there. Yeah. They don't even want me to oh, do I'm working off material. my employment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like like Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, we'll give you ten thousand dollars to move here and work, but we're gonna charge you about ten points on that. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a slave. Yeah, we'll but hold it's on fifteen thousand a month to live here. So it's, don't worry. Yeah, it's like that's like how like they did the uh, what, was it the World Cup? Yeah, the World Cup in uh, was it Dubai? Where was it? Oman? They do I think it was Dubai. Thing. Didn't they yeah, do it maybe. in Dubai? Was it Qatar? It was somewhere. Yeah, maybe it was Qatar. It was somewhere where like you couldn't be gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you like really couldn't be gay. Oh, so was at my dad's that... house. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just going back to New England again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was paper football. <laughs> no, but they did yeah, it right the World Cup of... Bakersfield. <laughs> did they bring in like a bunch of Sri Lankans to like build? Yeah, they and, brought a ton of like fucking migrant labor, and, and like they, half of them died. And they had like in, like encampments, some stuff like, like that, just down yeah. in Brazil, I think. Oh, dude, during the Olympics they, in Brazil. Oh, it was the Olympics, yeah. yeah. And they just left these giant coliseums that they built that are nothing. They're now. just empty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The They're, Amazon's gonna take uh -huh. them over. It's They're gonna be wild. sick. That's gonna be awesome, dude. Yeah, that I, is. Big I remember fucking alligator the, pond did one day. Oh, <laughs> that fill up the soccer stadium and yeah. just fill it with fucking, <laughs> fucking man Nile eating. crocodiles. Yeah. <laughs> hey, something else to bet on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Draw some dots on them. Yeah. Yeah. I remember there was uh, a problem. And by problem, I mean it, ha it happened many times when they were doing the Olympics in Brazil that body parts were washing up. On the shore of wherever the beach volleyball <laughs> tournament was. Oh, yeah, that's like right. like an arm was washing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab it, throw it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I imagine Lake ah, Michigan was like that for a long time, too, right? <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. You're like, man, someone really killing their serve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they fucking <laughs> they kind of whipped it. They flung their arm off. <laughs> you, you wouldn't swim in that, right? You can't. I mean, after the arm... I because no. sometimes I feel like the ocean's so big that I don't really care. Like I'm like it's diluted, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean if I'm run if I, if I'm bumping into the arm, yeah. I'm like I I'm too. This is gross. <laughs> Even you, if I gotta like doggy paddle a little bit yeah. to get away from the arm, yeah, that alone. Yeah, I'm I'm like, like, when I was younger, I would have put my arm in my sleeve and then put that one out. <laughs> and then, and then waving the dead arm, <laughs> be like, hey, guys, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. stick your arm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning into a black guy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your Steve Martin arrow through. Yeah, that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I'm a legitimate. Like, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> I am legitimately a wild and crazy just, guy. I just live on. I just live in darker times. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just wild. I am deranged extreme. and fucking <laughs> dangerous. <Yeah. laughs> it's funny though. You listen to Richard Pryor from that era, and it makes perfect sense. It's still he is as funny today as it was then. Yeah, yeah. But there's only there's only a handful of comics. Like yeah, yeah. setting like, yourself on fire is always funny. Yeah, that is timeless. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, fucking. Dude. No matter what era, 
<laughs> he said he was so good. high that when he caught himself on fire at first, he was just lost in the blue. Like he saw the blue and he's like, this is beautiful. And then went like fully his 70 Sam. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, he like ran down the street like a stuntman. Yeah. On fire. <laughs> Nobody thought of stop, drop, Which and roll. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was when it got popular after prior. So, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. We'll teach people this. Okay. I guess. Well, this we will, this is happening. <laughs> well, he literally, literally was like, a, it was like a bellows. Like he was like feeding oxygen to his yeah. fire by running. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just showing clips of him. They're like, see, don't, don't do that. That's <laughs> that's exactly what not to do. Yeah. The crack is fine. <laughs> yeah. It's just be careful when you're lighting it. It ha- happened you catch on fire. <laughs> yeah. Have one of those fire blankets nearby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Crack probably makes you want to run, but just resist the urge. <laughs> Roll around. Have you ever gone to a marathon? Have you ever seen a marathon? Like watch a friend run. I watched like uh, I, had, I did track in high school. You go to some kids. I there. don't think they would do that. But at a marathon, not a full marathon, but I watched like a four hundred meter race, and it was the worst fucking time of my life. Yeah, it sounds boring. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like awful. a lap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just one lap. When you go to a marathon, at the end of the race, they wrap the runners up in these aluminum blankets. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen those. What do those do? And the I don't they're, know. they're warm. They're like it's hurricane like, blankets. Yeah, it's like an earthquake kit. Yeah, is it, yeah. What they oh, do it after? They do it after like it is always after like trauma. Yeah, it's funny. Like you get an earthquake and get like a silver blanket. I'd be like, it, what I, is like, the point? Is that blanket some water? Is it a special blanket? I don't know. They're like, we don't want you to also catch fire. You've already been through so much. Or yeah, because yeah. I get with an earthquake quit kit. It's just got to be as small as possible. Yeah, yeah. But oh, that makes up. sense. Yeah, they're it's like reflective. Folds easily. I don't know. Like maybe because it cools <laughs> you the, down. Is the sun a problem after you go <laughs> yeah, yeah, marathon? Yeah, maybe because it's like hot. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's like uh, it makes you really. It makes you look really fast. Yeah. She's like, whoa, look at that guy. Look He's like, astronaut whoa. just ran. Yeah. <laughs> he just came from like, space. Yeah. He ran so fast, dude. dude look, he ran so fast. His back's made of glass. <laughs> that guy's so quick, dude. They're like, leave. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Because he looks like he's made of glass? Can you leave me alone? <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> This is beavis and butthead <laughs> stuff yeah, like a lot of marathon dude. runners. <laughs> Just speaking of earthquake kits, when I was a preschool teacher, we required all the kids to have earthquake kits, but there it was a private, rich, fancy school, and so their earthquake kits were filled with so much good. Is this the same beef jerky and huh? Is this the same one we were talking about earlier? The the school like for delinquents? No, no, no. This is when I was a teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. Right. When okay. I taught preschool and on our lunch break, we'd be and my co teacher, we would go get high and then we would come back and just eat their earthquake kids. <laughs> so we'd be like, what are the odds that earthquake is going to happen? This stone I might eating <laughs> six year olds' MREs. Yeah, yeah, it'd, be like real, it'd be like organic fruit snacks and like wild beef jerky, wild cut turkey jerky. jerky. <laughs> Big truck goes by and it like shakes a little bit. You're just like, what was that? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah. What are we doing? I'm like, it'll be fine. Nobody will ever find this out. Cause, <laughs> and we did have an earthquake one. I was very hungover and uh, I had read, I was reading story and I, I fell asleep while I was reading the story. And then apparently an earthquake happened, like a big one. And uh, I didn't feel it. And a teacher ran in from the other classroom and was like, is everybody okay? Did you feel that earthquake? And I was like, huh? <laughs> and she was like, were you asleep? And I was like, no, 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 no. I was reading story. <laughs> None of the kids ratted you out. That's pretty cool. No, no, no. They, oh, were, yeah. they were chill. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah they were yeah. just like, I guess class is done right they were now. Like, yeah. I like to sleep too, dude. This story fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he does no. this sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sylvester and the magic pebble really just puts you out. <laughs> we had a, a teacher who would fall asleep standing up in uh, our high school uh, auto shop class. Oh, Jesus. His name was Mr. Soong. He was like fucking like 70. Yeah. And fucking, so he'd sit in the front of class and he'd just make us do like book work. Like, we, I didn't learn fucking shit about cars until like fucking like next year because he would just sleep all day. And so he'd like wait until he'd like fall asleep on his fucking like, uh, like on his desk for a little bit. And people would like smoke weed in the back and like throw shit at him. And yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. He'd like stand up, he'd like, Ugh. and he'd go and just, like walk to the back of the class and like stand up and look at everybody. And, Fall asleep standing up. <laughs> like what just a pro. Like, dude, he was like, he needed to retire so badly. <laughs> yeah. And he just fucking couldn't afford it. <laughs> oh, you, think he was just, you don't think he had like a wild nightlife? I mean, I know you said he was 70, but. I like to think, 
I don't think so. I think he I was like just that's like... That's where you, your head went first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think he had a second job. It is funny to think he's just out fucking raving all night. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Just fucking snorting Molly. Yeah, he's and... into BDSM. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's just getting whipped all night. Yeah, he's a dog man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, it's not even that he's that tired. He's just preserving energy for the night. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. 100%. <laughs> it's like, I just need to be at my top. No, yeah, he's, yeah. he's just coming up on Molly so hard. He's <laughs> going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just tripping. He's just staring at all the colors. He's like, this is just dude, dude, falling asleep standing up seems impossible. Dude, he did it every in a day. Classroom it was awesome. full of kid. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, be, that's what I'm like, thinking. I, it's not that he's just old, and there's something else going on there. Dude, he'd be sitting next to my buddy. He'd be standing, sleeping next to my buddy Daniel. My buddy Daniel would like load weed into a sumo grip and just fucking rip it, right? And like blow it out the window. Right well, he was. Like, um, uh, this was so he knew how to hotwire cars. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was probably stealing cars and killing prostitutes all night. Yeah. That's what yeah, he was doing. Yeah. He was hot wired cars. <laughs> he was a serial killer. And that's the only reason why he could sleep standing up. Yeah, exactly. Or he's a vampire. Yeah. It would make sense. Were there windows in that shop? He could be like an old hitman. You know what I mean? You got to fucking be able yeah. to rest standing Wouldn't like that. suspect that. that. Yeah, exactly. Can fucking yeah. break into anything. Speaks a couple languages. Yeah. That's fucking legit, dude. That's Maybe pretty good good CIA's yeah. fucking Definitely agent. increases your murder radius. Yeah, uh, exactly. You can speak a few different languages. That's like, you know, I could put him, you know, post-Korean War, doing some fucking mm -hmm. shit, dude. Was he Korean? Soon? Sounds Korean. It sounds... I, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know, but don't maybe. Know. It makes yeah, sense, and, you know? This is in Maui. Yeah. Right, yeah. This is in Hawaii. I don't know, dude. A lot maybe. of Koreans like, in Hawaii? I feel like if he was... Um, yeah, kind of. Not in Maui as much. I think they're more mm -hmm. in Oahu, but yeah. I feel yeah. like if he was doing a lot of murdering on in Maui, I feel like that would have been a story. <laughs> no, dude. Time. Well, there was like a, stuff, probably stuff just killing the there? bush people. There was like oh, a few yeah. years where there was like <laughs> like local white women around the age of like thirty to thirty seven just going missing every few months, and no one really talked about it. But like. And then it just kind of went away. After Zuckerberg. A while. But I was like, dude, like, there was like some theories, like, dude, somebody is killing people around here. And like, this fucking, like. Zuckerberg doesn't fuck white women. Yeah. He can do he whatever just, he wants. He just eats them. Yeah. Cause he's into Asian girls. Is he? Yeah. Or at least his wife That's is his Asian. Wife, yeah. yeah. So we just have to assume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I assume that robot just, I mean, imagine that's what he was programmed to like. Yeah. Or whatever. Zuckerberg's into women that nourish him. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah he's yeah, like yeah. just fucking. A milk filled just, breast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's in, we're doing the Jackson voice, but feed me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mother. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg kind of sounds like Kermit. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got an awful voice. I can't feel, feel like I'm. I haven't heard him speak recently. I feel like he's just existed now. It is pretty funny yeah. every time he announces something. It's like, hey guys, we're doing a new. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that voice. we could literally, everybody in this room could beat the shit out of all of the most powerful people in the world. <laughs> and we are not tough people <laughs> no, at all. Dude. I we're, think I'd, we'd get beat up by most people in the world. Except but not the, the most powerful people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why they keep the power, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, back in the day it was like Genghis <laughs> yeah. Khan. He would whoop the shit out of you. Yeah, dude. He'd eviscerate you. Yeah, that guy's fucking one-on-one -on -one Genghis Khan, dude. There's no yeah, fucking yeah. way, dude. He's all hopped up on fucking fermented milk yeah just ready to milk too. fuck you dude yeah dude, yeah see yeah, i know zuckerberg's training jujitsu but i'm not scared i still think i can whoop his ass <laughs> yeah exactly <dude. laughs> yeah, train whatever you want <laughs> yeah i would love that would be the only celebrity or he's got celebrity. robot strength dude he's like yeah. fucking he just like you're fighting him he's just like <laughs> punching through walls <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh christ yeah, his eyes go fucking wide. There's that great podcast, Lull. Yeah, yeah. Dude. And that, and that around this time in our last one, too. Yeah. We're fucking, we're pretty consistent. <laughs> with your lulls? <laughs> with your, yeah. We're pretty consistent with lulling. Yeah. The highs are all over the place. <laughs> the lulls are always around dude, the 24-minute mark. I started, uh, I did my intake for, I, I was going to start therapy, and I set this up before I decided to move, so I already have to switch Guys, but anyway, the I wanted to do it in person, but the intake was over Zoom. This is through the VA. And uh oh, yeah, so it's good. It's good there. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely mid to bottom of the class <laughs> of yeah. community yeah. college. He had a master's degree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not no. actually registered to do or qualified he, to do this. Dude, I'm doing the intake. Like that's just Family history, name, you know, the most basic shit. And he tried to get me on pills. Hell yeah. Like just for the <laughs> intake. He was like, so we, he literally goes, we can get you rolling on some pills or medic. He said meds. We yeah. can get you rolling on some meds. Like after I just, 
I, like, I what's your dad's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, well, we get you on away. some antidepressants. <laughs> I, I, what kind I, of pills? Uh, I don't even know. I think probably Zolofters. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. But it's not like I impressed him with... It's like, this is what he's doing to everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't have a chance to see how fucked up I was. Yeah. He was just immediately he's, pushing pills he's on so me. used to people just hitting him up for pills, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Exactly. Veterans but do people kill hit you up for Zoloft? Is that like... <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Yeah. You just get that from, think... like, the boner... P- the him sells yeah. that. Yeah. So then not wanting to work, he's just like... He's like, what if you just uh, take pills and stop bothering me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the deal was, but he also he was like, uh, at, this is after he I had to turn down pills three times from him, and uh, <laughs> after he goes, what's your drug? He's history? like a drunk friend at a party. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> he's like, dude, no, I don't want fucking Percocet. Please, please don't make me do this alone. <laughs> yeah, please, like, no, I don't want. I've had three beers. I can't have any Xanax. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> oh, you're fine, dude. You're such a fucking. All right, okay. Hey, uh, do you want to do something? You just asked me. <laughs> Did I had a friend total a car in neutral on Xanax. <laughs> that rules. Whoa, yeah. I don't know what. Ha- I don't know. He just told me that one day, and I, I don't know how it happened. But that's, a hill. that's a wild story. Sounds like a cake song. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy was like, "What's your drug history?" And I was like, "A lot." And, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, he was like, well, "Like, are we talking alcohol?" And I was like, "Yes." And he was like, <laughs> marijuana? I was like, yes. And he goes, anything harder? I was like, yes. And he goes, what have you done? I was like, I don't know, ketamine, cocaine, I think uh, opium, most uh, opiate pill form, heroin once, uh, acid, obviously, mushrooms, obviously, uh, the 2CB weird designer shit. I've done that. I was like, <laughs> do I have to keep going? Yeah. Crocodile. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've done like, like, for you. I've yeah. like Joe Dirt listing fireworks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Zippity waggity dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goofballs, reds, blacks, <laughs> black Bettys. <laughs> I was like, does this matter? I'm sober now. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking grab bag of candies, dude. It's like, it's like a Halloween bar, like bowl. Yeah, yeah. And he was typing it, and I was like, this is going to follow me forever. Because <laughs> he was typing the whole time. Also, his I don't know if he was using his computer mic or if his microphone was, but the typing when I was doing the therapy with him was like, right into my headphones. Like old typewriter. He's writing like, this guy's a fucking drug addict. He's like, why are you denying the pills? Yeah. He clearly the drug. <laughs> like a hot girl who a guy won't have sex with. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. He yeah also, I offered you this drink. is how bad he was. He asked me if I graduated high school, and I was like, this is the VA. I was in the military. Yeah. Obviously, I graduated high school. Yeah. It's like you the one it's thing. It's the I only have to do. requirement. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, you're a moron. <laughs> He also had a very He's like, sorry, I'm really fucked up on Zoloft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this <laughs> I don't know why people don't do this recreationally. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so good. Dude, what's and that? then so bad. Yeah. What's that Ramsey? You don't want your pills, uh, can I have your pills? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if I get okay. a prescription? I just don't send them to you. Yeah, I can just take them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dude, that reminds me of uh, there, we, I was doing. I was producing a podcast when there was this uh, there was this Aryan Brotherhood founder who like uh, was like in jail for murder, and he like changed his life, quote unquote, and uh, left AB and like became a little bit of a prison celebrity. You know, how there's like a few of those guys that like are on YouTube mm. that like were former lifers. Yeah. So he's like he's like that kind of guy. And uh, he's doing we did about three hours of podcasting about changing your life. And then he got arrested for uh, he had over 100 EDD uh like uh, the, the, no, the employment, the unemployment, thing, thing, yeah. the unemployment thing during the pandemic had a hundred different EDD the, checks coming to oh one address. Guys <laughs> 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 making fucking five thousand dollars a fucking week, yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, was he out of the Aryan Brotherhood or not, yeah, though? I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's still life change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just so funny because he was like a motivational speaker about <laughs> redemption. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else was in on that? Because uh, uh, they busted Scott Peterson was... Uh, f- defrauding unemployment or pandemic checks uh, from in <laughs> prison. The the, he dropped his lady thing? in the river or oh. whatever. He killed his wife back in the day. Scott oh, Peterson and Lacey yeah, Peterson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was oh, pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I think he threw her off uh, a canoe or something. Okay. Is that what he did? I don't remember. I she that washed was a... up. I know she washed up. 
feel like I'm mixing it up with the lady who let her car go into the. That's Casey water. Anthony. That's Casey Anthony. I feel like I'm mixing yeah, up those yeah, two yeah, stories. Yeah. I think Ramsey always said she was hot. I don't remember. Casey, Casey Anthony. Yeah. She's hot. I remember. She was kind of hot. Yeah. Yeah. What a shame. I know. It's always, crazy a, it's always, always a crazy one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Say you want a bipolar girl, but you can't handle all the fucking twerk. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't handle me at my wedding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. if you can't handle me at the murdering of our children, then, yeah. <laughs> then you don't get anal. <laughs> I'll still fuck you because <laughs> I'm insane. Because <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> it, there was the other one. Uh, I don't know enough to even. Uh, this is gonna go nowhere. I can't remember any of the details. <laughs> I, I was that's, say this, that's popular on this. Yeah, 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 There's like yeah, another hot details murderer are... who like didn't get convicted. It was in Italy. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I think I saw a thing about this. She's like partying she was like in Italy after she got her charges dropped. Yeah. Wasn't she like an American? Oh yeah, Knox. Yeah, man, yeah. Knox. Yeah. Yeah. What was her deal? She used to hang out. She was um, like hot, right? Yeah. She was. She was. She come by the uh, comedy underground when I was in Seattle all the time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like when we like fucking we do shows and she would hang out at the bookstore like two doors down and come in. And one day I was like, uh, or f- someone told me I was like, yeah, that's fucking Amanda Knox, the lady who killed that lady in Italy. <laughs> and I was like, no way, dude. It's like, oh, it was after all that because I don't remember when this happened. I don't know what the timeline was. It was like I think <laughs> or like two thousands. So I want to say she oh, killed oh, those oh. people and then or she killed that woman and then come back. It came back. I don't know if it was a woman or a guy. I can't remember, but I know she killed someone in Italy. It seemed like came she... back and then she loved the Monday open mic at the county <laughs> underground. <laughs> <laughs> Now really, that's a person real who made supporter, a change. Real <laughs> supporter of the fucking It's crazy arts, that <laughs> your murder is not the saddest thing about you. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. It's not your rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. The Monday open mic in Seattle. Yeah, it, it was the best open mic in, in the city. I believe that. <laughs> I would never question that. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that with full confidence. <laughs> that was the best of I could see. <laughs> Did you start in LA or Arizona? Um, both. I was bouncing back and forth. Oh, yeah. I was living in Huntington Beach, so Orange County, and then uh, parents were still in Phoenix, so I was bouncing out there regularly and doing the open mics and stuff dude what's living in it what's growing up in arizona like that seems wild to me wow we have so many arizona friends too yeah. it's like fucking... i think i moved there when i was 15 oh okay so, I didn't so it was like, really foreign to so you. it was really foreign yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 like literally like the first day or two i was there i was out getting fast food uh and someone had just like a six shooter on their hip and i grew up in california yeah, yeah <laughs> and i was yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. yeah i'm not in the same place <laughs> like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> i do this funny you said the fast food i love arizona has a thing that florida has where people retire there so they bring all the local fast food mm. chain so every single fucking fast food chain in the world is in arizona yeah where it's like oh we have True, cookout right. from south carolina like that was a, i remember they had a waffle house before there were waffle houses mm-hmm. out here this is real dirtbag shit, but I got really fired up about all the fast food. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. They do, and I didn't know that was why. I didn't even. That was think my about guess. That. It's just, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, no yeah. one's from there. Everyone's from. They try to make it like somewhere else. else. It's like all military bases are designed the same because people kept waking up and like killing their wives. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or they would like drive and not know where the the liquor store was and freak out and kill themselves and shit. <laughs> Jeez, so they were like, we're gonna make all these military bases the exact same so that everybody. But he feels like no matter where they are, they're in the same place. Yeah. But isn't that like a national security thing? Like an issue? If they're all designed the same, shouldn't they? Like you learn one, you learn them all. I would imagine bad? the military Probably. base is the least but, of a, like uh, the least, the lowest on the list of a place for a terrorist to attack. Yeah. That is true, I guess. And it's like, yeah, they, they keep well they keep all the fucking other, like the special targets away from the bases too. They do like fucking, yeah. like all the fuel depots and shit. They don't keep that on. On the base, right? Right, but also I feel like they're just trying to kill civilians usually. Just, yeah, just like regular people. It's more devastating. Yeah, you know, there's no, there's not as nearly as much of an emotional the thing about like people. You know, when I'm in the army, when I was in the army, I mean, they would say the numbers of the casualties, but nobody cared nearly as much as the people died in 9/11. Yeah, and they shouldn't because yeah. those guys were just wearing ties. And <laughs> we, <laughs> we had guns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess it is. Yeah. I, I I feel like I would have been a terrorist. Like the way I was so into <laughs> punk yeah, I can when see I was a kid. A like if you grew up in the right area, I would have been a terrorist for yeah. sure. I, I like would the right just, area as in like 
like Afghanistan. Or the wrong, I guess the wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was in the wrong neighborhood. If I grew up in like Ethiopia hey, what's going on or whatever, <laughs> Yemen. <laughs> like, I can see that. It's probably pretty like a punk rock thing. So we're going like, against the like, governments, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's, that's Osama bin Laden is the ultimate rich kid, like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. He was like a. That was like the Saudi punk scene. <laughs> it was like a rich kid who's like, "Fuck you! I'm I'm gonna live." in a little yeah. tiny house. Yeah, I can afford a PA so we can go on tour. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see... I'm not going to explain how I got the PA money, but... <laughs> there was always backlash on him when they showed his bunker in, uh-huh. in Pakistan uh, because uh, other Al-Qaeda members thought he was living too lavish. <laughs> that would be sad, but it was not... It was like a like fucking a yoga cave. man on the floor. <laughs> there was like a lazy boy with a VHS player. They were like, what is this guy? The fucking king? He's yeah. like a crust fucking... punk kid, but he had like a bed frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like when I met a crust punk with a magazine subscription, I'm like, who are you fool? You're obviously rich. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> your address? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you believe this guy's cleaning his heroin spoon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <a> fucking loser. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I think that's a psychological barrier. I could never, I could never become a junkie just because I, I just think there's too many things you have, like the tying of your arm, the lighting of the spoon. I know, God. There's dude. too many like fucking horrible steps. <laughs> yeah. I won't even make like a lunch for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not saying I'm too lazy. Yeah. You're just saying it's yeah, sometimes I'm like, ugh. Too much work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tying my arm off? I get, my belt. Oh, God. You're right. I guess an oxy <laughs> is just the McDonald's of heroin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It really <laughs> Unwrap it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I have to cook shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like throwing it in a microwave. It's like licking off the fucking shit here. <laughs> But yeah. Do we gotta go? Hell yeah, Hell yeah dude. We totally. only had like three lulls. Yeah, dude. That's great. Not bad. Also, this is the That's second uh, guest episode where we talk about Os- Osama bin Laden. How fun is that? Uh, I'm assuming well, Ramsey. <laughs> <was the other one. laughs> oh my God. My, yeah. yeah. As I, or as I refer to him, my better half. <laughs> 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 my podcast wife. <laughs> who, uh, <laughs> who still may t- join a terrorist organization one day. Yeah, Ramsey <laughs> might fucking start know. one, dude. Yeah, dude. The comedy store terrorist organization. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not even join, start. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, he won't start shit. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that comedy in Hamas? Yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> That's not my gonna favorite. End. Yeah, and we're ending on that, guys. Thanks for coming, up. guys. Brian Vokey is the That's guest gonna tonight. Be in New York soon. L comedy, New York, huh? L comedy. Okay, cool. Worse, worse than mine. That's good. <laughs> there you, you go. Run- <laughs> I don't know about worse. Good friends. I am gonna miss you so much <laughs> <laughs> until that last moment. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. But that's the kind of guy. We're, this is the kind of guy Voki is. He'll fucking he'll dig in the mud with you after your friends calling you while you're gone and just being like, "Why the fuck did you answer the phone? Getting mad at you?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was fine till you answered. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> do you have any uh, gigs coming up before you leave around? I do. LA? I will be at the Comedy Space in Houston for the December seventh through the. Ninth, I will be at the Punk Rock Museum with Chris Estrada on December sixteenth oh, nice. in That's Vegas. Cool. I will be uh, doing a European tour January tenth to the twenty fourth, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I'll promote that to those people. <laughs> Are you saying we don't have international fans? <laughs> like, we did. We did piss off the English fans after shitting on the English pretty hard. Yeah, yeah we well, kind of so. started this podcast on that. I think. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Dude. They conquered ninety eight percent of the world. They could take a little beating every yeah, now and then. I don't think they mind. Yeah. yeah. All right. But, uh, cool. Yeah, that's it. Awesome, dude. Well, thanks for coming on. Mm-hmm. Um, see you next week, guys. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. Bye.